There are some wild reptiles in the world, many just waiting for the right scientist to discover them. For most people, it usually falls into two categories, love or hate. You can't deny some of the best evolutions come from reptiles and, you know, dinosaurs. Whether it's a snake with a spider for a tail or a dragon, here are 15 of the most unique exotic reptiles in the world. Part two. This is the African pancake tortoise and they get their name because they are the flattest of all the tortoise species. Number 15. The Pinocchio Lizard As you might have guessed, this lizard has one heck of a nose. The Pinocchio Lizard or Ecuadorian Horned Anole is a scientific and zoological mystery. Though it's not the only horned lizard on the planet, it is undoubtedly the most famed. Despite its fame, relatively little is known about the elusive creature. In fact, until a decade ago, no one even knew of its existence. Stranger still, once humans finally made the discovery and started gathering some for research, they seem to have dropped off the face of the planet. A recent discovery leads researchers to believe that these rare lizards haven't just dropped off the planet but instead are nearly impossible to find. That's right, these lizards are so well adapted to their environment that humans can't locate them. Scanner and heat signatures don't work either. Looking for them at night while they were sleeping was the best chance at finding them. Armed with night vision and flashlights, a team of researchers made their way into the jungle. They found it was easiest to locate them at night, mark their trees, and then return during the day to observe them during active hours. With this newfound way of observing the elusive creatures, researchers have finally begun to crack the code on the mysterious Pinocchio. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Humans have finally done it. Discovered a living dragon. Okay, okay. Anyone alive in the past 10 years can obviously tell this is a dragon from the DreamWorks animated film How to Train Your Dragon, a dragon so aptly named Toothless. While the image is undoubtedly edited, the magical creature's fascination and imagery have long been part of the human lore. From cave murals to woven tapestries, dragons have permeated the human imagination for as long as time can tell. But why? How do civilizations that have never met before characterize the same beasts? Perhaps they did exist at one time. Ancient civilizations may have classified these creatures as endangered. Indeed, during the time of the dinosaurs, some of those monsters could be classified as dragons. Nevertheless, dragons have and always will be part of human mythology and mysticism. I personally think dragons are fantastic, so I'm okay with such results. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Mexican Mole Lizard. This exotic reptile is one crazy critter. Looks more like a worm or snake, wouldn't you say? In actuality, it is, as it's called in the scientific community, a legless lizard. I know how strange it sounds, despite its legless title, the characteristic is somewhat misleading. It indeed has legs, two front and two back, but it's what's between that makes this creature so fascinating. A body that can grow as long as 9.4 inches from head to end of the tail. That's quite a gap between the front and hind legs. A close-up on its face reveals a very lizard-like head. While its body can coil like a snake and disappear to slither as it moves, the mole in the name comes from a life of digging tunnels and living beneath the ground, much like a mole. Thanks to the strength of its front digging claws armed on its legs, the mole lizard is an efficient excavator. Once it carved out an extensive tunnel system, which it will use as hunting grounds, it lies in waits. As insects scurry about the surface, the lizard hears and tracks it from beneath. Once the insect makes its way near one of the many entrances to the lizard's tunnels, it strikes with lightning speed and retreats back into its tangled tunnel system. This is like nothing else. It doesn't move like a snake, it doesn't move like a lizard, it doesn't feel like either. Number 13. Spider-tailed horned viper. This is one creepy snake. One even birds of prey needs to be wary of. For someone like me who has a fear of venomous creatures, you may not be thrilled to know there's a snake that also pretends to be a spider. The combination of two terrifying creatures of our planet, oh great. Until 2001, the viper was known only from a single misidentified specimen. The abnormal growth on its tail was so unlike anything documented in other snakes that it was written off as a birth defect. It wouldn't be until years later when subsequent specimens revealed the same features. 
Scientists revealed and classified this snake as a new creature in 2006. While zoologists had suspected as much, this evidence proved it. Now all they needed was to catch a live one in the act to confirm. While the birds in the area didn't fall subject to the con, their hypothesis was proven when other birds were brought in. The snake, using its tail as bait, lures in birds hunting for insects, then strikes. Let's just hope these snakes don't change their tail into a piece of chocolate or something for humans to be tricked. Number 12. Chinese Crocodile Lizard Its name originates from its powerful tail, which is likened to that of a crocodile. The lizard's defining feature is its vibrant, multicolored skin. It has a gray-brown body, a yellow-tan underside, and red or orange scales running alongside in stark contrast. The result is the uniquely colored pattern. While males tend to be larger and more colorful, females are usually blander. The males, after all, have to put on the show for the females in this species. It is a popular pet in China, mostly males due to their coloring. While they are often pets, these lizards are on the endangered list, one of the most threatened of all the reptiles. And it's sad, these territorial creatures spend their time alone in streams and freshwater pools. The vegetation and rocky crags near flowing water quickly provide shelter and protection. While they're solitary awake, when it comes time for brumation, the lizard equivalent of hibernation, they often share these crags to keep warm during the winter. Number 11. Round Island Kill Scaled Boa While most snakes terrify the heck out of me, this one is pretty cool. I mean, it still terrifies the heck out of me, but it looks cool while doing so. The Round Island Kill Scaled Boa is unique amongst all terrestrial vertebrates on Earth. It's the only species to come equipped with, to sound all scientific, an intramaxillary joint. To put it simply, it means that it can separate and split the upper jaw's anterior and posterior bones. The question you should be asking yourself about now is, why only this one? Like most predators, the answer comes in the form of how it hunts its prey. Thought to be an adaptation that helps the snake better hold on to their preferred prey, geckos and skinks. With as slippery a press as those, it's easy to understand why the snake species developed this adaptation. In addition to its jaw, this exotic reptile sports specialized skin that allows them to change color in a matter of hours. Darkening during the day when they're inactive and lightning at night when they're very active are a few examples of this boa's fantastic color changing capability. At one time, there were a known two species to exhibit such attributes, but the second, the round island burrowing boa, went extinct in the 20th century, leaving behind our snake of subject as the sole surviving representative of its family. Sad, I know. Despite their names, this snake is not actually a boa in that it doesn't constrict. This amazing snake actually diverged from all other snakes more than 65 million years ago, before the dinosaur's extinction. Number 10. Madagascan Big-Headed Turtle There's no easy way to say it. The endangered Madagascar Big-Headed Turtle is the world's most evolutionarily distinct and globally endangered reptile. I know it's a mouthful, but bear with me. This turtle is a unique and prehistoric reptile, and it's disappearing. Experts claim untold secrets lie within the species and they have no idea how to extract its knowledge. The species is endemic to lowland waterways and wetlands of western Madagascar where adults feed on mollusks, plants and dead animals. No surprise, this turtle has a big old head relative to its body. Its coloration is often referred to as the golden armor turtle due to the yellow plates that appear across its body. Like the aforementioned keel scaled boa, this turtle is the sole surviving species in its genus. It sits alone at the end of a branch that stretches more than 80 million years ago. To help understand that time frame's gravity, humans have been around for a mere 7 to 10 million years. Number 9. The Saharan Horned Viper This snake is pretty awesome looking, very applicable with its iconic devil symbolism. The Desert Horned Viper, with its anvil-shaped head and satanic horns, has struck fear in the imagination of many who have lived within its desert ranges, let alone someone like me who cringes even from being behind a computer screen. From Northern Africa to the Middle East, these ferocious predators can be found. It played a prominent and sometimes mystical role in the history of the area, particularly the Egyptians, who embalmed desert horned viper bodies for unknown reasons, for decorations, for worship. We may never know. Unlike some of the previous snakes on our list, this one is 
far from endangered, it's actually overpopulated. To make matters worse, the viper can deliver a witch's concoction of a bite that, while not usually fatal, can cause severe injury. The venom is a mixture of more than 13 different toxins. It can cause such conditions as massive local swelling, acute pain, excessive bleeding. The pain from this bite may not kill you, but it'll make you wish you were dead. Number 8. The Pancake Tortoise This one is as flat as they come. The pancake tortoise is different from others in the species. As its name suggests, this tortoise is thin, soft, and flexible, and it has fewer, lighter bones. Its shell is soft, allowing it to squeeze into places others cannot. Thanks to its lightness, it's considered the fastest moving tortoise. With its strong legs and front pointed claws, it's also an expert climber, further separating itself from the rest of the tortoise species. Since other turtles use their actual shells as defense, this one uses the tight cracks between rocks as its shells. They often live in isolated colonies, with many individuals sharing the same cracks for homes. When it comes to mating, males fight for females, which is always of the most gigantic tortoises. The smaller males won't even try to approach the females if larger males are present. Number 7. Tiny Leaf Chameleon OMG, get out of here with a cuteness overload. You've got to see these tiny chameleons to believe it. They're really that small. These aren't even the smallest chameleons ever discovered. The tiny leaf chameleon males only reach a maximum snout to tail length of 0.63 inches or 13 millimeters. The total body length of both of the sexes is less than 1.2 inches or 30 millimeters. That means these little lizards are among the smallest vertebrates in the world. What I wanna know is how the heck you even find these tiny little guys. Like other chameleons, it uses its tail as its fifth leg when walking. Number six, the dragon snake. Look how many times we've said dragon without there being an actual dragon. See how ingrained the dragon icon is without the human mind? I give you the dragon snake, scientifically called the Xerodermis javinicus. This fascinating snake is once again the only snake in its genus. We're talking exotic reptiles after all. You may have heard of the snake by other names, Javan mud snake or rough-backed litter snake to name a few. It's considered one of the rarest and is not widely researched due to its inability to survive in captivity. Every time a group of experts has tried to research these dragons, the snakes didn't make the trip to the lab. In its nocturnal state, it feeds exclusively on frogs. Seriously, that's it. In its native Thailand, Burma and Indonesia, because it's not keen on breeding, it's kind of slowly making its way out the door. It's being accelerated by deforestation and human intervention. Rather than having the smooth skin as most snakes do, the dragon snake opts for three rows of raised scales that run along its spine on the center of its back. These scales look like anything to you? A dragon, maybe? Number five, the thorny devil. When it comes to reptiles and having spikes or thorns like the dinosaurs, the thorny devil speaks volumes. Also known as the thorny dragon or the mountain devil, this exotic reptile is a small, spiky lizard native to Australia. And when I say small, I'm talking a maximum of just 8 inches long. They live in the arid scrubland and desert landscape. These devils are the only species in the genus Moloch, and they can survive anywhere between 7 and 20 years. It may not seem like much, but from a lizard's perspective, that's almost 10 times their lifespan. Those thorns, as you might have guessed, deter any predators from wanting to snag a taste. This thing is straight otherworldly looking. Colored in camouflaged shades of desert browns and tans, these colors can change from pale to dark during cold weather. They're covered entirely with conical spines. These lizards also feature a spiny false head on the back of their neck, which they present to potential predators by dipping their real head between its legs. Think of the regrowing tails on lizards, only a head. Number 4. Panther Chameleon When it comes to all the chameleons on our list, this is the beast I'd want as a pet. Panther chameleons are a gorgeous species of arboreal lizard found in Madagascar. They're typically discovered within the denser sections of forest and jungle, where the prey and cover are plentiful. This chameleon is famed for its ability to drastically change in color depending on where its ancestors diverged from the dinos. In other words, the colors they sport are easy identifiers of their origins. With this in mind, while some are kept in captivity for preservation, 
Handlers conduct special care to keep separate the species of different ancestors. Most would think you would just get a rainbow of color effect. Instead, it seems to be a death sentence for the chameleon's offspring, who often don't make it past birth. Researchers are still asking why. Number 3. Tangerine Dream Honduran Milk Snake this milk snake scares everyone from the yard. I couldn't resist. The Honduran milk snake is one of the many milk snakes known to scour the forest floor and grassland habitat throughout subtropical lowland areas of Honduras and Nicaragua. It is a large and powerful constrictor, despite being neither a boa nor anaconda. While adults average four to five feet, specimens have been discovered of up to seven feet. There are two naturally occurring color varieties of Honduran milk snake, the tricolored and the tangerine. They aren't poisonous, but constrictors have no need, as we've learned on The Supreme previously. As pets, they're well known for being challenging to handle. Distressed specimens will often defecate in hand, and if restrained, may bite. The behavior quickly vanishes if handed regularly and mostly disappears in adults. It's important to understand that it's really the snake's fear that makes it act this way. Number 2. The Komodo Dragon Probably the most famed of reptiles, the Komodo is strong, proud, and majestic. As we spoke about earlier, it comes down mostly to that human hookwork dragon. Despite its fame, there is little known about the ancient beast. The Komodo dragon is ancient, around 90 million years old, one of Earth's oldest surviving species. With age comes experience, and you can definitely say the Komodo has this whole surviving thing figured out. With some fantastic capabilities that keep the species strong and healthy through the ages, these dragons remain king in the reptile world. Like its smaller brother lizards, the Komodo has a vast amount of deadly bacteria living in its mouth, so even though it may not have venom glands, the bacteria does the job as well, if not better. And what's more, the Komodo can reproduce asexually or without a mate. Talk about surviving, right? This fact was only discovered in 2006 when a captive Komodo who had never been kept with a male gave birth. If you're worried about overpopulation, quell your fears. Another unique trait of the Komodo is that they're cannibals. They call their own numbers if food gets scarce or if they're starving. Number 1. The Mata Mata Turtle All hail to the King of Turtles. Anyone else weirded out by this name? The only one of its kind, the Mata Mata, is a bottom feeder that looks more like a pile of leaves, mud, and bark than it does a turtle. But then again, that's precisely the point. Even though it's an aquatic animal, this particular turtle has adapted to swimming in open water. You won't find this guy walking around a creek bed or basking in the sun. Instead, you'll find it sloshing around the muddy beds of shallow water and lying in wait. As prey approaches the hidden turtle, it sucks into action, literally. The way this reptile eats is by vacuuming up fish. Staying mainly motionless for the majority of a day, the turtle acts more like a plant than a turtle, swaying with the waves and eating whatever it's unfortunate enough to come swimming past. With its prime camouflage, dangerous appetite, and patience of a god, this turtle is one of the most dangerous predators to ever exist. I'm not sure knowingly or unknowingly being eaten is better, but either way, the turtle is a master at what he does. Reptiles are one of the oldest species on the planet and thus have adapted in spectacular ways. It goes to show that many may still be waiting a discovery. Like some of the creatures on this list who weren't discovered until recently, there could be others just as elusive thriving out there in the wild. It goes to show that we don't know half as much as we think we do about the creatures on this planet. What new creature behavior will we discover tomorrow? What natural attribute can humans expect to be better adapted to? We often have to look no further than our animal kingdom brothers and sisters to solve many problems humans consider insurmountable. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.